Okotov. Hello, Yahua. Praise Yah. This is the day that Yahuwah has made, that the Creator has made. I will rejoice and esteem Him and do His will in it. Praise Yah. Psalms 115. <clears throat> Not to us, O Yahuwah, not to us, but to your name give esteem, for your kindness, for your truth. Why should the Gentiles say, where now is their Elohim? But our Elohim is in the Shamaims. Whatever pleased him, he has done. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of man's hands. They have mouths, but they do not speak. They have eyes, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. They have noses, but they do not smell. They have hands, but they do not handle. They have feet, but they do not walk. They make no sound through their throat. The ones who make them shall become like them. All who trust in them. Oh Israel, trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and their shield. Oh house of Aaron, trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and their shield. You who fear Yahuwah, trust in the Creator. He is their help and their shield. Yahuwah has remembered us. He blesses the house of Israel. He blesses the house of Aaron. He blesses those who fear Yahuwah, the small and the great. Yahuwah, you are blessed by who made the heavens and the earth. The heavens and the earth are of Yahuwah, but he has given the earth to the children of men. The dead do not praise Yah, nor any going down into silence. But we bless Yahuwah, we bless Yah now and forever. Praise Yah. Hello, Yahuwah. Hallelujah. That was Psalms 115.
lift my hands as a sacrifice and bow my heart. Abba Father, I lift my hands before you and bow my heart. I pray the way that your spirit, your word, your son, your chosen said we are to pray. Our Abba, <clears throat> in the Shamaim, Yitzkados Shemenka, Tavo Melako Tsekha. Yi ahadre ritzon, ba aretz kashar na, asha ba shamayim. Tin la no ha yom lakam chu kano, o saslach, lano et ash mahateno, ka asha sholkim ah na kano. La asha ashamo la no va alta ve enu la da mesa hala yahua ka im ha tez le no ki lach ha mahakala va gor vora va tir a red Le Leme Olamim Barukata Yahwa Lahainu Melecha Olem. Our Father who is in the heavens, set apart is your name. Your reign come, your will be done, in earth be done now as it is in the Shamaim. Give us this day our daily portion. Forgive us our unrighteousness, sin, trespass, debt, as we forgive those who are indebted, unrighteous, sinned, and trespassed to us. Lead us not into the hands of Messah, temptation, but deliver us from the evil one, the adversary, for yours is the reign and the power and the esteem Eternal, blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, creator of the universe. Word to the Father through the Son, that my words be washed clean and reach the Shamaim. <clears throat> Luke. Chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus for all the world to be registered. This took place as a first registration while Cor. Corinius was governing Syria. And all were going to be registered, each one to his own city. And Yosef also went up from Gilal, out of the city of Nazareth, <clears throat> to Yehudah to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, by, actually, by Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Miriam, who was engaged to him, being pregnant. And it came to be that while they were there, the days were filled for her to give birth, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him up and laid him down in a feeding trough, because there was no room for them in a lodging place. <clears throat> and in the same country there were shepherds living out in the fields, 
<clears throat> keeping watch over their flock by night. And look, a messenger of Yahuwah stood before them, and the esteem of Yahuwah shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. And the messenger said to them, Do not be afraid, for look, I bring you good news of great joy, which shall be to all people, because there was born to you today in the city of David a Savior, who is Messiah, the Master. <coughs> And it is a sign to you, you shall find a baby wrapped up, lying in a feeding trough. And suddenly there was a messenger, a crowd of the heavenly host, praising Elohim and saying, Esteem to the Elohim in the highest, and on earth shalom among men with whom he is pleased. And it came to be. When the messengers had gone away from them into the Shamaim, and the shepherds had said to each other, Indeed, let us go to Bethlehem and see this matter that has taken place, which the master has made known to us. And they came in haste and found Miriam and jo Joseph and the baby lying in a feeding trough. And having seen, they made known the matter which was spoken to them concerning the child. And those who heard marveled at what the shepherds said to them. But Miriam kept all these matters, considering them from in her heart. And the shepherds returned boasting and praising Elohim, for they had heard and seen as it was spoken to them. And when eight days were completed for him to be circumcised, his name was called Emmanuel Yahushua, the name given by the messenger before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of her cleansing according to the Torah of Moshe were complete, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Creator, Yahuwah. As it has been written in the Torah of Yahuwah, every male who opens the womb shall be called set apart to Yahuwah and to give an offering according to what is said in the Torah of Yahuwah, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And see, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Shimeon, <clears throat> and this man was righteous and dedicated looking for the comforting of Israel, and the Yit Kadosh spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Yit Kadosh spirit that he would not see death before he sees the Messiah of Yahuwah. And he came in the spirit into the Yit Kadosh place. And as the parents brought the child Emmanuel Yahushua, to do for him according to the usual practice of Torah. Then he took him up in his arms and Baruch Elohim and said, Now let your servant go in shalom, O master, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your deliverance, which you have prepared before the face of all the peoples, a light for the unveiling of the Gentiles, and the esteem of your people, Yisrael, and Yosef and his mother were marveling at what was said about him. And Shimeon Baruch them and said to Miriam, his mother, See, this one is set for a fall and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign spoken against. And a sword shall pierce through your own being also, as to reveal the thoughts of many hearts. And there was Hannah, a prophet prophetess, a daughter of Peniel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, and had lived with a husband seven years from her maidenhood. <coughs> She was a widow of about 84 years, 
who did not leave the Yit Kadosh place, but served Elohim with fastings and prayers night and day. And she coming in at that moment gave thanks to Yahuwah and spoke of him to all who were waiting for redemption in Jerusalem. And then, and when they had accomplished all matters according to the Torah of Yahuwah, they returned to Gael, to their city, Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong in the spirit, being filled with wisdom, and the favor of Elohim was upon him. And his parents went to Jerusalem for every year at the festival of the Passover. And <clears throat> and when he was twelve years old, they went up to Jerusalem according to the practice of the festival. When they had accomplished the days, as they returned, the child... Emmanuel Yahushua stayed behind in Jerusalem, and his parents did not know it. But thinking he was in the company, they went a day's journey and were seeking him among the relatives and friends. And not having found him, they returned to Jerusalem seeking him. And it came to be after three days that they found him in the Yit Kadosh place sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And having seen him, they were amazed. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? See, your father and I have been anxiously seeking you. And he said to them, Why were you seeking me? Did you not know that I had to be... A in the matters of my father but they did not understand the word which he spoke to them <clears throat> and he went down with them and came to Nazareth <coughs> excuse me and was subject to them but his mother kept all these matters in her heart and Emmanuel Yahushua increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with Elohim and Men. Even the Messiah got in trouble with his parents. Just stating that reprimanding your children was even done to our own Messiah. So, he, he scared them. He didn't disobey. He didn't sin. He just scared them. And even though he hadn't sinned, he still had to be subject. Just a little. All right. And that was Luke 2. Thawada Abba for your word according to to Luke 2. We thank you that our eyes have been opened to seek you. And the first of all the commands is Shema, O Israel, Yahuwah, our Elohim, Yahuwah is a God. And you shall love Yahuwah, your Elohim, with all your heart, with all your being, and with all your might and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first command, and the second, like it, is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commands greater than these. And these words which I am commanding you today shall be in your heart, and you shall teach them and press them upon your children, and speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, when you rise up. Bind them as a sign on your hands with all that you do, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes, filtering everything you see. And you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates.
to guard your homes, to guard what he's put you in charge over. And according to our Emmanuel Yahushua, the Messiah, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, respect your father and your mother, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The <clears throat> and after you have done all of these, if you desire to be perfect, go sell what you have, give to the poor, and you shall have treasure in the Shamaim, and come follow me. Those are the words of the Messiah. Sawada Abba for all of your word. May we shema your word this day. Abba Father, may I shema your word this day that I find favor in your eyes and you baruch me with your shalom and agape.